I could see Bank of America on the back and Alec Murdoch's signature. And everyone that came out was just put it a little bit more in the grave for me. All right, well, that was testimony that we heard about Alec Murdoch's alleged financial crime, but it was not in front of a jury just yet. And this is because Judge Clifton Newman is still deciding if that testimony about Alec's alleged financial crimes will be admissible in court. And we can now give you the update that court has adjourned for the day. They have recessed until 1130 on Monday, and the judge did not make a decision like many expected him to today, Darcy. He didn't decide. Rachel Ripp joins us in the studio now to give us an overview of this financial testimony. Rachel. Darcy, Andrea, the witnesses we heard from Thursday include Jeannie Seconder, chief financial officer of Alex's former law firm called PMPED, Chris Wilson, a longtime friend, college roommate and work colleague of Alex, and Michael Gunn, a business associate of Alex who works for Forge Consulting. Some of these witnesses even got emotional. Financial related testimony began Thursday morning solely for Judge Newman to hear. Jeannie Seconder, the financial records keeper at Alec's law firm, started by testifying Alec asked her in late May of 2021 about structuring fees and how that worked. She said shortly after that, she became concerned hearing that Alec wanted to put money under Maggie's name as a result of the boat case lawsuit. Seconder then testified that when someone paid a settlement, attorney fees would go into the PMPED income account, but says when she started doing some digging after not seeing documentation of a fee check for the firm regarding a case Alec and Chris Wilson worked together on, she found more and more possible signs of misappropriation. As I started printing the canceled checks off, I could see Bank of America on the back and Alec Murdoch's signature. And everyone that came out was just put it a little bit more in the grave for me. Michael Gunn confirmed that they had not banked at Bank of America in a number of years. Seconder testifies the checks coming from several client trust accounts were made out to an account called Forge. That brings witness Michael Gunn into the picture and to the stand. He testifies he's a business associate of Alex and works for Forge Consulting LLC. I found out on Tuesday after Labor Day. All right, what did you find out? I spoke with uh, Lee Cope, and he told me that uh, Alex had been using a uh, an account called Forge okay. to uh, process the checks. Is that account that he had been using, is that a legitimate Forge consulting account? Absolutely not. The last witness testifying about missing money was Chris Wilson, a law school roommate, longtime friend, and business associate of Alec Murdoch's. Wilson testified he usually handled money on cases he worked with Alec on through his trust account. But for a case they both tried in January of 2021, known as the Mack Truck case, Alec asked Wilson to do something different. Instead of issuing the checks to Alec's law firm, Alec asked Wilson to issue the checks directly to him so Alec could put them into an annuity by the name Forge. Wilson testified that Alec then told him the annuity wouldn't work, so Alec would send the money back to Wilson for him to send to Alec's law firm. This $792,000 from the case is money Wilson testified he never received back in full. Money Wilson eventually confronted Alec in person about in September of 2021. Money he came to learn Alec stole. I was so mad. I mean, I'd loved the guy for so long. And I probably still loved him a little bit, but I was so mad. And... I don't remember how it ended. I left. Now, Judge Clifton Newman decided earlier this afternoon that some of the financial testimony will be allowed in this trial. So we're waiting to hear on those specifics, and that means jurors will hear this testimony we showed you in the coming days. Reporting in studio, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX.